My name is Romain Newell, and I am the chef and founder of Access Gourmet, a luxury service food brand. I have created a series to share the process of how we produce some of the luxury plates that we present to our clients. One of the most amazing things about being a chef, besides the passion of food, is the incredible conversations we get to share. On this show, we spend some time with some of the most aspiring minds and creators. I wanted to share those conversations with you. Welcome to A Connoisseur's Corner. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for being here with us on A Connoisseur's Corner. Today, we're gonna to be putting together some amazing food. We're gonna be having some really cool conversation about success, life, and how to approach uh, the chase of, uh, chase of life. Um, we're gonna to put together a really, really nice gnocchi dish, and we're gonna hear from the amazing, amazing Anna Guzman today. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our guest, the motivational speaker, the individual that I think a lot of you guys should tap into um, from an inside standpoint, for just from a how to approach life, a Miss Anna Guzman. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hey, thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so what a lot of you guys don't know is that all of our guests get an opportunity to have a menu sent over to them and they get to choose between two to three items. So for today, Anna chose our pumpkin gnocchi with some jerk pork belly, some wonderful, wonderful roasted tomatoes, some king mushrooms, and I wanted to ask Anna about her menu choice. What would what, uh, you like about that menu? Okay, so you know how I'm a Nona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right the So when I saw gnocchi, I was like, yes to that's gnocchi, the go -to. that's the go-to. Yeah. No, you can't go it. wrong with it. it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The dish is a really, really simple, but also a really nice flavor mm -hmm. profile. The idea is essentially to look at um, a sweet and salty combinations. The pork belly has been rendered down with a really, really nice jerk spice. We marinated it overnight, then roasted it off. You're gonna get flavors for a couple hours after this. Um, the gnocchi is essentially, we got a little pumpkin puree in there, got a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of vanilla. Really just wanna drive home that Thanksgiving, September feel into it. But again, just a really nice dish that you can kind of make year round. I wanted to talk to you when I got in front of you today. The element of success in regards to what we both do. And I, I love I love hearing you talk about uh, just life in itself. Um, Wisdom Wednesdays, I think, is one of the segments that yeah. in five years, we're going to be talking about how that's world famous. So talk to me a little about what inspired that, uh, that Wisdom Wednesdays. So I didn't like the camera. <laughs> right? I'll go flat out and tell you, yeah. I didn't like the camera and I would see how other like influencers online and yeah. speakers, they would look directly at the camera and make you feel like they're talking to you. Yeah. So I saw it and I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. So the only way you could do something well is do it repetitively until you become better at, it. better at it. So that's where Wisdom Wednesday started. Let me ask you a question. Hit. When was the, what was the first episode? It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. If you look at the hashtag, Wisdom Wednesday yeah. Canada, you'll see it. It's all the way down there. And I, I would start off serious, yep. straight face. Um, and then I got more into my character, right? Yeah. So it, it's something that makes me happy. And people look forward to it. Like I can step into a room and then, yeah. oh, you do Wisdom Wednesday. I'm like, ah, you've done it. It's did it. What, is, what, do you, what do you find a lot of people that watch Wisdom Wednesday? What do they come to? What do they take away from it? What's, what's a lot of the takeaways? Because I know what I take away from it. Me and you have talked one-on-one, -on -one, so I know what you're trying to give to your audience. But what do you find a lot of your audience takes away from it? I feel like I always try to tell them just to be themselves. Yep. I know it sounds cliche, just be yourself and love yourself no matter what season or, or reason that you're in right now. So I feel like that's a takeaway. Like they come, I, it's basic advice. I call it basic, but it it's non-basic in, in this world. So yeah, I think they take away just the like, I'm like anti-vibes now. <laughs> yeah, you're older anti-vibes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I just told, told my 31st birthday, I was talking to a young cook and I feel like I'm uncle vibes now. So I get it, <laughs> trust me, I get it, I get it. The, so when you go out and you talk to, you're an individual that talks to personal individual, personal individuals, you talk to corporations, yeah. is the message different or do you try to kind of keep, keep that both of them kind of on the same tone? I keep it on the same tone of be yourself and yeah. do what you love and have fun. Have fun with it, right? And Absolutely. I feel like that, that goes in corporate and to entrepreneurs, doesn't matter what you do. If you're true to yourself, whatever it is, it's gonna come out great. Listen, I do not disagree one bit. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the gnocchi where we're at right now. So we've gotten our pork belly, our mushrooms, our peppers in here rendering. That pork belly is just going to really kind of give that, uh, that gnocchi a, a little bit of touch of flavor. So what I wanted to do is before I got the sauce in, before I got spinach in, I'm just essentially going to sear that gnocchi down with some, some of that mushrooms and pork belly, get that nice fat to coat on top of it. 
And then we have a, cream, a pumpkin cream sauce that we made out of some butternut squash and two other pumpkins that we're essentially just gonna toss this into. And what'd you say, no, Nona vibes? Nona vibes, and uh, you said sweet and salty, and that's me. Sweet and salty, come. <laughs> Is that the personalization? I, don't I love it. Okay, so you, you, I think you kill 20 funny. Um, just, just watching you work, just watching you kind of get through your thing. What's, what's the future? What's the future hold for you? What's, what's the, the next past point? What's the next goal, goal for you guys? Or for you? For me. Yep. Writing. I keep getting asked to write now. Really? Which wasn't the vibe in 2020. It was Hannah. You're going to write, write them a book now? I want to write them a book. Ah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> what's your, what's, would it be your focus? Me. I want, yeah. like, I want to tell my story in a sense of where I started to where I am now. Yeah. And even though I don't feel as I, I'm at the accolades and the, the height that I want to, mm -hmm. but I still feel like the regular girl yeah. could get to where I am at if somebody would tell them. Relatable, relatability. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to a young chef once, a young, uh, a young black man. Um, I think probably around 22. And it's so important when they can see that it can be done, right? That someone that looks like them, someone that's um, from the same walk of life, someone that has, you mean, built mm -hmm. from the same way, mm -hmm. that can go out and do it, right? So I think, I think you're gonna open doors for a lot of people without even knowing it. Oh. I think that's one of the, the, the unique after effects of what you do. So I'm excited, to, I'm excited for it, I'm excited for it. It's gonna be an amazing, uh, amazing touch point. So I wanted to kind of wrap this up here in a little, a little, a little bow tie. The food market in the world is changing right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, you are a connoisseur in every sense of the word because oh. I think what you do is not just, might not be related to food, but I think there's an art to speaking. I think there's an art to the, the entire notion of it. Where do you find those worlds kind of come together? Art is one of the things that, from a chef, I've been trying to fight for our place in that, uh, that spectrum. Where do you find that space moving forward for you, for you as an individual and then outside of that? I didn't call myself a creative till 2020. Yeah. So I didn't even realize that I was in that industry until I started seeing artists, chef, makeup artists, you know, they would come to me and they start talking to me. It's like, yeah. so if you're talking to me, that means we're the same. same. Um, so I, I really think that you can't have one without the other. Yep. You can't have food without art. You can't have words without music. You can't mm. do it all, right? And even if you're, if you're looking at it, even if you're just listening to beats yep. in a song, that's to me, that's words because the, the musician is expressing how they feel in, in the notes and things like that. I th it's, you know what, I think the level of art, we're all gonna get in the same room. Eventually we're all gonna have to be there, right? And I think I cannot wait for the table when we set it, right? For all of us to sit down and for chefs, for creators alike to be able to sit at the table. Because as I said, Access Gourmet is one of the original con uh, cultivation of this element was really to be able to not just create a personal chef service, go check out accessgourmet.net. We do amazing, amazing things with food, but a part of it was also to create a space where we're gonna build a table and we're gonna invite other creators, young chefs, um, other artists, whether it's speakers, whether it's photographers, videographers, and we wanna bring them into that space. And not only that, but create an avenue for them. Yeah. Create a lane that I think is going to help them become a better version of themselves, but also be able to take their skill set to the next level. No, which I think is important because you don't know how far you can take your skills until you meet somebody else who's done it. That's what I think anyway. The catalyst, the, mm. the, the catalyst and show them how to, to kind of get there. Yeah. It's difficult though, right? It, it's hard, it's hard. What do you find what's the hardest thing for you right now, challenge for you kind of, kind of trying to break through success, right? I think you have, for anyone that's been paying attention, I think you have achieved some amazing things. Thank First of all, tell the people some of your accolades, please. Please <laughs> tell, tell the people. Tell the people so they know what, what, what Oh no, what, what it I, is gotta, I gotta brag about myself now. No. No, um, it's not just a brag. It's you put the work in. I have, right? I, I think have. I think hard work essentially is always gonna be reverberated in success. So I think some I, of those accolades should be known, right? Um, I have a podcast that, as we know, there's 104 episodes. We have over 15K listens. Yep. Uh, we touch anywhere from Abu Dhabi to Asia. Talk to them. <laughs> Talk to them. Talk to uh, them. It's, it's, it's a super fun space. Yep. Um, I've spoken for Microsoft, the Economic Club of Canada. I co-created over a dozen events in 2019. Nice. Um, so I, I, you know, 
I do that with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the challenge though? What's what do you think you're even with all your measure of success? What's some challenges that you feel like you face just be able to get to that next step? Because I've seen this competition. Yep. So I haven't been able to find that that one person that they're like, dang Hannah, you're just like me five years ago. Yep. Let's go. Let's go over here. Yeah. I still haven't been able to find my mentor, but I'm men I mentor. Yeah. So I, I feel like that that might be a challenge. And then the negative Nancy that lives in my head, you know, we gotta talk about her, uh, who who sometimes doesn't let me do the biggest things. obstacle. Our of biggest course, obstacle, right? It's yourself. You yep. know this. You know this. Listen, being I'm gonna be completely transparent. This is one of my biggest fears, right? Mm -hmm. Being in front of a camera, being a, as open and candid as possibly can, um, because I I was from the school where you mm -hmm. achieve success in silence, and then you let that success speak for yourself. Yeah. But we have to essentially put ourselves in a position to look at the fear, understand it, and then try to meet it head on. So I think for all of us, it's like, who's the bigger challenge, us or all the things all around us? No, definitely. I think it's us. I, I can even tell you, I had um, headshots done when I didn't even have a, a speaking gig book. Hey. So <laughs> I didn't have anything booked, but I had my headshots because I knew that the minute I got something, I'd be like, here are my headshots. Yep. Let's go. So it's definitely something that we stop ourselves and we see others doing things and we're like, oh, we can't do that. But yep. you can. You can. You totally yeah, can. It takes the, the, it's networking, right? And I feel like not a lot of us know how to network effectively. Um, it's a skill. Yeah. It's yeah. a skill for sure. Yeah. We have this beautiful dish that we just oh, finished so here. The gnocchi is essentially tossed in with the sauce. We've gotten everything rendered down. That smell and aroma is just absolutely beautiful. You get that nice, uh, that pork belly jerk off the top of it and that nice sweetness as well. So we've uh, we've put together our spinach as well, took down nicely, a little bit of Parmesan. Please tell me when to stop. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> you can stop. So we, uh, this dish is essentially, as I said, a really, really nice dish. You wanna be able to toss everything in uh, as quickly as you possibly can. You wanna keep it as fresh as possible. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for being us with, with us here on uh, Connoisseur's Corner. Um, the amazing Anna, we want to give her probably two or three minutes here to just tell us her story. Please, ladies, talk to the camera. Let okay. them know why they should check you out. Well, thank you. Um, if you want to check out the podcast, you can definitely find me on iTunes, Google Play, any podcasting platform, The Advice From Hannah Show. Uh, that's my bread and butter, my baby. So go check out any of the 104 episodes and let me know what you think. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us again on the Connoisseur's Corner. Uh, we have some amazing uh, task points coming up. We have a really nice surprise for you guys. Check out our links on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for being with us again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and support. And if you would like to see more of what we create, go to accessgourmet.net for more of the work that we do.